1939, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star on its own right until that one fateful day when so, when the light when lightning struck the building and then the elevator flew down and then all the floors disappeared so now you could peep from this window then all the maintenance elevator chairs grew seats and then they had seat belts whatever anyways today in theme park history we're gonna Today on Deep Park History, we're, we're going to talk about the Tower of Terror, or the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, or whatever you want to call it. In the late 1980s, Disneyland Paris was planning a ride called Geyser Mountain, which would have been a free-fall ride. This this ride was later scrapped, but then brought back to life a, in, a, in a major Hollywood Studios expansion. Many horror stories were created for this ride, but none, se but none of the horror stories seemed to fit in. They even tried to do it Haunted Mansion style. But then, they, but then they got the perfect idea to make it all Hollywood style. With, 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 uh, th with the theme of the Twilight Zone. And you can't go wrong with that. Even I made a video of the Twilight Zone. Originally, the ride system was going to be very complicated, but there is nothing to that. Eventually, the ride system was part was part free fall and part trackless. The free fall worked by by two cables was on each side, a, a propelling it, it faster than the speed of gravity, and the and the and the trackless worked with with sensors in the ground. The Tower of Terror opened on July 2nd, 1994. Oh, and fall, in fact, during construction, it actually got struck by lightning because that's what's the story about. And also, it's not a free fall. It's just going faster than the speed of gravity.
disturbing and check him out with this certain hotel on the dark side of Hollywood. Make sure you know just what kind of man's you're filling, or you may find yourself a permanent resident. 2003, Eight Tower of Terror introduced a new random drop profile, which just gives you a different experience every time. Meanwhile, at Disneyland, they're they're opening the new Disney's California Adventure, celebrating California by showing you miniature models of California landmarks in California where you could just go and visit the the original. Oh, and how did the park do? When plans for the for this ride to move to California were up, people were excited. To make sure it may, the, the ride doesn't break down over and over, they redesigned the entire attraction. Also, it, also in this ride, there's a mirror instead. There's a mirror instead of the fifth dimension scene in the other in the Florida version. On May 4, 2004, this ride opened. In, in Walt Disney Studio Park at Paris, uh, the exact launch of this ride opened on December 20, 22, 2007. Although having the same track as the California one, the, to to the Tokyo Tower of Terror that opened on September 22, 2006 is very different because, it, because the company didn't want to pay for the rights. Anyways, the story is about... An explorer who has who has an ancient idol rumored to be cursed that send that but one New Year's Eve his, his elevator gets sent thirteen stories down. Well, that's it for our theme park history. But one word of warning. Actually, forget this. Why why do I have to keep rattling off lines from this ride? It just ciao, adios, later, dudes.